एच आई वी और ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी वायरस अटैक्स द इम्यून सिस्टम विच इज द बॉडीज नेचुरल डिफेंस अगेंस्ट इन्फेक्शन ओवर टाइम इट कॉज अ कंडीशन कॉल्ड एड्स और अक्वायर्ड इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी सिंड्रोम टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट हैज लेट टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डेवस्टेटिंग डिजीज ऑफ रिसेंट डेकेट्स वी इन्वाइट यू टू अ जर्नी इन साइड द ह्यूमन बॉडी When the human body is exposed to bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms, it activates its defense system. The white blood cells are a part of this defense and are responsible for protecting it from foreign invaders. There are many types of white blood cells. An important type is the helper T lymphocytes or helper T cells, which protect you in two ways. First, when these cells come in contact with a foreign invader, they release chemicals called cytokines that attract other white blood cells to the site of infection. This brings an army of white blood cells to fight against the invading bacteria or virus. Second, these helper T cells release chemicals that lead white blood cells to multiply. These newly created white blood cells also produce certain proteins called antibodies. Antibodies travel through the body and stick on the surface of the invading bacteria or virus. These are then marked as targets for the immune system to destroy. This is the subtle but effective method our immune system uses to protect us from infections. Now, when HIV enters the human body, it is carried throughout the body by blood and other bodily fluids. Its primary target is the helper T cells that we just talked about. HIV attacks the helper T cells and enters them. Once inside, HIV multiplies to produce many copies of itself. The new viruses then leave the helper T cells to infect other cells. The helper T cell gets damaged in this process and loses its ability to protect the body and eventually dies. As more and more helper T cells get destroyed by HIV, the immune system gets progressively weaker. As a result, other invading bacteria and viruses take advantage of the body's reduced ability to fight and lead to other infections. These are called opportunistic infections. If a person has HIV infection along with one or more opportunistic infections, then the person is said to have AIDS. Although there is no cure for HIV, drugs called ARVs can reduce the amount of HIV in your body. This enables your immune system to fight infections.